Hey, ladies and gentlemen. How, How you doing, doing, sir? Hey, my name's Adam. Well, fortunately, we're not able to be. Uh, you gotta get all the public affairs if you want anything. Yeah. Here. Well, I'm. Just, I mean, can I? I mean, even just as an individual citizen right now, just speaking on the record, can I say hi and introduce myself? Sure. All right. Well, I'm, I'm Adam. We don't shake hands. Time to keep your hands free thing. Give you one of those. Okay. Fair enough. Um, sir, are you filming me? Yes. I'm gonna ask you personally not to. I really just don't want my picture took. I know. I'm sorry. Nothing professional. It's not a legal thing. I'm just asking you, please don't. I know, I'm sorry. Well, th that was what I wanted to ask you about. I mean, how do you feel about being filmed by independent citizen journalists and in individuals that want to hold police accountable? Sir, this is starting to look an awful lot like an interview. If you want an interview, you got to talk to Public Affairs. Get on the website. I'd, I'd like to talk to you and see how you feel about it. Secretservice.gov. Okay. So your service has one voice. I'm not that voice. Well, I Sorry. do. I do have the right under the First Amendment, right, to, to be able to record you as a public official in public. Sir, it is not against the law to tape record me. It is just rude. Okay. Do you think it, do you think it's rude to try to hold government officials accountable? I didn't say that. I said I asked you personally not to record okay. me. You're ignoring it. That's your right. It just makes you a rude person. It doesn't make you a criminal. Okay. We'll just clarify, and I'm going to respect that, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna disengage and turn the camera off. That sounds But fun. I appreciate your time, your politeness. I appreciate it. A that. lot of officers don't have as measured a reaction as you. No, and right. one of the things that I care about is trying to find out why there are so many law enforcement officers in this country who are sensitive to being filmed, who aren't thinking, I'm here doing the right thing. I want people to see what I'm doing, and I want to be filmed in public. And I'm, I'm a little disturbed that, 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 that you have this knee-jerk reaction that you're not open to at least being friendly and positive and open it's on public camera. Public affairs policy. And, you know and what that I mean? you, uh, no, well, you're, there are other officers of the Secret Service who have had different attitudes towards being filmed, who don't have this reaction, who aren't afraid of cameras because they support independent citizen journalists and they, they want to do the right thing. They know they're doing the right thing and they're happy to be filmed. And, and th that, those are the kind of law enforcement officers that, that we want to see on the street. So that's that's all the point we're making. Thank you for your time, sir. No problem. Y'all have a good evening. You too. They all do. No. How, How you doing, sir? sir? How you doing? Good. Just oh, we're just, we're just getting some footage for our YouTube channel. And all right. Uh, we, we, we're not allowed to be filmed or talk. You can film me if I can't talk to you. Okay. We have one voice policy and secret service, and that's not me. But you can talk to you can talk to just citizens on the street? Yeah. But you can't talk to... Not while you got a mic and a camera in your hand. So you can't have that accountability for a conversation? No, I can't discuss anything at all with anybody who's got a camera and a microphone, sir. That, and that's official policy? Yes, sir. We have a one-voice policy in the Secret Service, public affairs, and I'm not public affairs. Okay. So, I, I mean, you, even if it was just, like, friendly conversation about what you're doing here today or, like, what's, yes, what the kind of stuff you're talking to these folks about? No, we're talking about the history of the White House. It's understandable. You have a camera. Microphone. Sure. No, no, but I mean, you, the, the kind of things that you're talking about in public, you can't talk about no, on the record. Okay. Thank you. Just want to clarify. All right, no problem. But we're, if we if we stand back, like you don't have a problem being filmed. This, no. This, this, I just okay. can't speak to the mic. Okay. Understood. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, sir. Guys. So, how are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Cold. Not as cold as you. It's not that bad. Are you allowed to talk to people on camera? No. No. I'd rather you not point it in my face. Well. Wouldn't, I mean, if you're if you're just doing your job and you're doing the right thing, wouldn't you want people to point a camera at you and like be I don't know where you're going to put it. That's why I don't like having it. But if you're in public, like, and you're just doing your job, I can't make you look like you're not doing your job. No, I mean, I'm doing my job, but I'm supposed to be observing. So if I'm talking to people all the time, I can't observe. Well, I'm not. I'm not saying to to, to have a conversation, but like you would want people to point cameras at you personally and say like, hey. Because I don't know where it's going to end up on the internet and how you're going to manipulate the picture of what you took in order for it to make it look bad. I've seen it done many times. Sure, but I can't make it look like you're not doing your job. Really. I mean, I can't provide, if you're doing your job, I can't create evidence <laughs> that you're not doing your job. So I mean, wouldn't you, wouldn't you welcome like public accountability. What, what, is it that you, what is it that you wanted to ask? Oh, well, I'm talking about something more in depth with, with people on the street. I'm not trying to get you in, into an interview or anything. Okay. But I, I just wonder, like, why there, why some some cops are, you know, have no problem being filmed and are like, yeah, you know, they're they're happy to even have it. I mean, not that they'll stop doing what they're doing and, and you know, be derelict of their duty to do an interview, mm -hmm. but that they'll be friendly and that they'll answer questions on camera. And then others are just like. Don't even point it at me. Like they take it, they say you're rude if you point the camera at them. Because let me ask you this: How many times have you seen an interview or 
anything on TV that says, oh, the cop did the right thing. Because anytime the media ever puts something on TV, it's usually a well, cop doing the wrong thing. Well, right? when you see hero cops doing the right thing, you know, they show that too. How many too. times do you see it? I mean, let's be frank. How many times do you see it? Well, not as often, okay. but yeah, I would I would hope that that would be more often when cops are eager, to, when they know they're doing the right thing, to say, please film me, as opposed it's, to saying, don't film me. Let me put it to you this way. If you stand here long enough, like we do, and guys come up and interview you mm -hmm. and film you, and you see the stuff that they put on where they manipulate the video to make it look bad, or one answer or another answer is manipulated, that's why we don't want to be on camera. Right. You kind of get okay. sick of it after a while. If it, if okay. it makes you feel any better, I personally have a video on my YouTube of a cop who was totally fine, acting like it wasn't there, and I, I put the phone number and commended him, and I wanted. No, to look, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. You know, I'm not trying to get an argument with you. I'm just saying, most of the time, when you see it on TV, most of the time, what is it? Something. Yeah. Is. yeah. So that's why I try and stray away from it. Mm -hmm. Well, I appreciate you being at least friendly and polite in the presence of a camera, because a lot of officers don't even do that. I'm, don't worry about it. I mean, it's not a... I, I don't not want to be on camera. I just don't like what happens when we are on camera. What's happened in the past is all I'm saying. So. Well, I mean, do you think when, when cops are doing bad things, like, they should be held accountable, right? Like, there should be video over there. There sure. should be some yeah. accountability for it. Sure. Well, so if you care about being a good cop, you should, again, you should just be what, what eager I'm for that. What I'm saying is, if you look, there are videos that have been manipulated. Yeah. Okay where a cop will say something answering some question, right? And you'll take that answer and make it look like the question that was asked was completely different than the answer oh, that we gave. Well, that's more discrediting to the to the. I'm not discrediting you. I'm just saying well, that's what's that. happened sure. before. All right, well, thank you for being one of the, the no cooler, problem. at least understanding officers about what we're doing here. No problem. Appreciate it. Have a good one. I, I assume you'd, you'd, never, you'd never interfere with the, the right to record or the First Amendment rights, even if it made you uncomfortable, right? I mean, right to be, right to see is the way it goes. So. Awesome. Great. Right. Really appreciate it. See, awesome. you're one of the good cops. <laughs> at least at least on that count. Thank you for your time. I don't want to have a huge that if I didn't do anything wrong and I didn't even get a say in it. Good damn question. <laughs> um, fuck! Fuck. Fuck. Fuck.